This is a quick video about how to use HTML tools with Emmet. Emmet, if people don't know, is um, an update ready to Zen and uh, it's a great plugin to put your code, how I put it, on steroids. So if you have got two documents here and the first one, all you're doing is you put an exclamation mark up and then control E and then you've got your HTML5 already done there. You do need to know some CSS with uh, using Emmet, but it is really fast. And here is uh, an example. I'm just going to put dot wrap um, and this here, which is your less sign or child is how I put it. And um, you just do that and then say, for example, you wanted uh, par paragraphs, uh, lorem, um, times by say seven and this is just as I say random but it's just to show what it can do and then you can plus which means putting in another um, HTML element and for example if you wanted uh, UL uh, say for example if you're doing um, an ordered list or um, things like uh, doing a nav bar perhaps and another child uh, would be LI and for example, times that by, you've got for, uh, maybe 10 links you want. So you just put oops, 10 and this is what I do. Control A again. And this is from one line of code. And you've got all this here, which is, it's wrapped with the DV, uh, the div class. And then you've got the list there as well, um, all the way down and you can do all sorts with them it really is such a fantastic thing and that's control z and that puts it back so for example if you wanted to put um, anchor links uh, put a and images and then you just again uh, you can put a you can put plus or well, here we've got i'm going to put in another child to anchor which is um, img and uh, for example, if we do that and times it by nine, and there again, uh, we've got the lorem ipsum, and at the bottom there, we've got the image source, the uh, anchor tag, and the href. And you just put in what your images are and uh, the alternative text. And again, uh, control Z gets it back. And for example, if you wanted to do a form, um, there you just put um, form and then again childlike uh, input and times that by four perhaps and you can uh, put labels in and another label and times that three you can do all sorts of this and it's it's really it depends on what type of web page you're doing but from one line of code you can do absolutely stacks of um, coding for for one particular web page so that's basically any uh anything like that uh your html um and it uses html5 as well ht any html element and you just uh go like that. that's just a quick thing anyway so if we go on there um you just have to put in link um and this would come up control a and then you put your style sheet and what I'm going to do is going to put test.css and I'm just going to file save that as test HTML and I'm just going to put this on the desktop save that and with this other um, document I'm just going to call this uh, CSS test CSS test CSS and put this here and you could just put it all files okie dokie right on here you do need to know um, if we just go to the uh, desktop and we put in our test uh, this is Microsoft Edge 
Okay, there was uh, our form things. But here we're going to CSS3, um, and it uses CSS3. So these are your, your um, for example, I'll put body and curly bracket things. And for this, you can just put in BGC, BGC, um, hashtag, and something like, uh, we'll take the hashtag out because on, on HTML kit tools, anybody that's worked with it knows that this has got a fantastic color picker. So we're just going to put this in here, and that's like an orange esque thing. So again, control A, and that's your background color. And if we just save that, okay. And we just put in, refresh that, and there's your orange-esque type of, type of color. So this, this can do all sorts. You can do uh, things like background image with it's just B G I and uh, and there you go and that that would just then you just have to fill in which image you need. Um, also things like um, uh, for example the former was doing there you just put form and curly brackets and again you can just put in B G C um, and something like pink and control e and there's that um but you can also put like say a box shadow and that would be b s h and there's your your web kit your mozilla and these you just uh these sort of variable things here you can just put them in things like uh, zero or 10 pixels or whatever you want um also on i'm just using the form as a as a demonstration you can put things like pattern uh, top uh, 40 pixels for example and you just do that there's your uh, 40 pixels if you want to just to uh, do that and then plus uh, width 400 and height uh, just plus that height 350 um, oops that's and there, there it is. It's actually that's me uh, zoom number five. So there you go. Your pattern top forty pixels, width four hundred, height thirty pixels, and that's just with that little line of code there. And anyway, this is uh, as I said, this is just a, um, a, a just a demonstration, just a quick demonstration to show how HTML uh, kit tools works with uh, Emmet. And if anybody's got any questions for us or anything like that. I'll, uh, I'm only too happy to go through it. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.